Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you how to make magnesium deodorant. I've really been liking magnesium deodorant as a lighter option that's really easy to put together. So let's jump in and I'm gonna show you the recipe and then I'll talk a little bit more about it after that. So like I said, it's so easy to put together. It just takes three ingredients and the recipe that I'm showing you today fills up a one ounce container. So you can put this in a roll-on bottle or you can put it in a spray bottle. It just depends on how you like to apply it. I've really been liking the roll-on bottle myself. So you're going to start off with one fluid ounce of magnesium brine. What I like to do to make measuring a little bit easier is to make a double batch. So two ounces comes to a quarter of a cup. So that's what I have here in my pitcher is a quarter of a cup of magnesium brine. And then for each one ounce containers worth, you're going to need a quarter of a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. So then, like I said, I'm doubling it. So I'm gonna put in two of my quarter teaspoons, which will come to half a teaspoon. This just really adds a nice texture and glide to it and it makes it nicer on your skin. And then the last thing to add is going to be your essential oils. Now these can be really whatever you want. I like the plant therapy blends for whatever season it is. And the amount can really vary depending on how strong of a scent you want and how strong the essential oils are that you're using. I usually go from like a one to 2% dilution, maybe up to a 5%, just depending on how strong they are. Since it is a deodorant and I'm wanting, you know, a fresh smell, then I usually go cl probably closer to the to the 5%. So for a 2% dilution, then you would be using six drops of essential oil for this amount of brine. I'll probably do more like 12, 15, something like that. It's really, feel free to customize it what you want. And then all that's left is to stir it around a little bit to try to combine everything before you pour it and then pour it into your container of choice. Put the tops on and it's ready to go. Then all you have to do before using it is to just shake it a bit to make sure everything is incorporated because the oils will tend to separate out when it sits for a little while and then use it. So it's a really nice light deodorant to use. It's really easy to put together, a little bit less time consuming than making the stick version, which I also really love. I just usually do those in a big batch so that I only have to do it once or twice a year. But sometimes it's fun to just change things up and try something different. So the way this deodorant works is that magnesium acts a lot like salt, sort of as a preservative or something like that. And so it will keep odor away with those salt-like properties. So that's how it works. And then the essential oils, of course, help and then give it a nice smell. You do wanna be a little bit careful if you shave and you put this on right afterwards, it can kind of sting, so you might want to wait a little bit. Also, if you are magnesium deficient, you might find that this tends to tingle and itch on your skin a bit, but as you use magnesium products like lotion and Epsom salt baths and getting those levels restored, that should go away. But you can try it and see if it works for you. I really like it. Hope that you enjoyed seeing how to make magnesium roll-on or spray deodorant. Check out that description box for links to all the ingredients that you need to make this as well as the little storage containers, the spray bottle and roll-on containers that I used. Also check out that description box for links to free eBooks and other goodies. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.